Hey y'all. So as many of you know, if you're following me on Instagram, I am a video producer and I like to challenge myself. So I've decided to start a series here on YouTube where I let y'all follow my journey because that's what this brand is all about, right? Following my journey um, for me as a video producer and I'm going to have a bi-monthly challenge. I'm gonna challenge myself every other month to learn something different, to try and shoot something different, to just grow. And so if you work in entertainment or you are looking to be a producer or you are a producer or you're just genuinely curious, like what the heck does this producer thing or producing thing entail? Follow the journey. I'm going to be sharing it with you every other month. I'm going to walk you through how I did it. And if I don't show you how I do it, I'm going to refer you to a resource that can show you how it was done. So my first challenge was actually working with my girl, Nadia. Love her, love her story because it's super relatable. Like she wasn't always a trainer. She didn't always work in fitness. She also didn't always even care about fitness. But the way that she's transformed her life in addition to her body has been inspiring. So I was like, yo, let's get together. Let's shoot a promo. I want to test out my skills and I want to make sure that this talent is going towards something that I actually believe in. So we got together. I didn't even have a gimbal at the time, <laughs> but I wanted to make these shots work. And so I'm going to drop a link below that tells you how to make these type of shots work when you don't have a gimbal. But here is the piece. It's a different kind of strong, a strength that comes from within you. It's not dependent on performance, body type, or accomplishments. It comes from a conviction, a belief, a revelation, strength that will force you into action and have you step into your calling and destiny. You are a different kind of strong. We train the mind, the body follows. All right, so I think that challenging yourself as a producer is super important, and I'm going to share with you five reasons why, okay? So let's start off with what a producer role is. It's okay, if you were asking that question, you are not the only one. Lots of my friends and family often ask me the same question. So the job of a producer, funny enough, is not the same from uh, across the board. So when we think about television, we think about film, we think about short form content, which I primarily work on, the role of a producer can vary. Um, and I'll tag some videos below that elaborate on the producer role uh, as far as film and television is concerned. But for me myself, as I said, I work mostly on short form content. That role basically involves making sure that the production happens. Whatever you see on screen, and this goes for the other industries I mentioned or sub industries, it could not happen with the producer. The producer is pretty much the CEO of the project. Now there's different roles of producing, executive producer, et cetera. Like I said, I'll tag a video below. That usually comes into place when we get to scripted um, and longer form content. So as I mentioned, the challenge is going to involve me doing a new piece of content every other month. And so I'm choosing not to limit myself, honestly. Um, I'm choosing, right now I can tell you what I've shot and you'll be seeing videos about this stuff. I shot a fitness promo. Um, I did a live stream uh, and not just like what you see on Zoom when someone try, someone does an event. I don't want to downplay their events, but it's just you at your home on a web camera. No, I'm talking like professional camera. Let's add graphics. Let's really produce this out. Showing a video at this point, we're having uh, images popping up here. Okay, cue the music, cue this, cue that, etc. That was one thing that I did. And then an HGTV styled piece, interior design, yes. Now, I think, here's why I think this is something that is so great for producers to do. I think that there's more than one benefit. So let's, let's break them down, right? One, as I take on the role of now getting behind the camera, now uh, having a hand in audio, I am starting to understand my other departments that I work with. And while I have no plans to focus primarily on shooting or audio, I can now speak the language of my crew. You get me? And what happens when people can relate to you and can speak your language? Like think about when you were a kid and you'd meet somebody who understood you as a child, or even if you speak another language or you're from somewhere and someone, or you're Greek and someone can is also from there, you instantly feel a connect, a more respect for them. You get me? Because they can relate to you. They speak your language. Okay, you understand what it takes for me to produce this. So now I have more respect for you 
and I'm more so willing to listen to you when you make your suggestions, etc. It also stops you from getting played when people try to tell you they can't do stuff, but in reality, they really can. You show them how. Number two, a large population of people in this world suffer from imposter syndrome, including myself. You know what helps with imposter syndrome? When you are confident that you know what you are talking about. And so that's another reason why I think this challenge is a great thing for a producer to do. It builds your confidence. It allows you to walk in there and know that when you're saying something or you're suggesting something, you know what you're talking about. You don't think or you hope, and you know what you're talking about. Number three, it allows me to add to my portfolio. So presently in my portfolio, I'm keeping real with y'all, y'all mostly see celebrity related stuff. You see celebrity interviews, you see um, like bio focused stuff, you see a lot of celebrity based content, shows built around them, promos built around them, etc. Now what happens is when I'm pitching myself to a brand who is outside of that realm, as a freelancer or as an influencer or a content creator, it's really hard for them to see me creating the type of content that is for them, understandably so. And so when you build up this portfolio of varied content, right, it allows people to see themselves in your pitch and get a better understanding of what you're going to create for them and how high quality this piece will look. Number four, it allows you to ask for more money. Now, producer A might be charging whatever they're charging, and your question might be, why, why are you more expensive? Let me tell you why I'm more expensive. Because I have a lot of experience, one. Two, I know what I'm talking about when I get behind the camera. Three, I understand audio. Four, and the story goes on. At the end of the day, you are going to get a much better piece video clip, show, etc., with me. And so, you can charge more. Let me just add in, by the way, you have to be likable. That allows you to charge more too, okay? So just remember that. Remember that, whatever you do, any set you get on, be someone that folks enjoy working with. Honestly, that's any industry. Do not forget that, it's important. And number five, which honestly to me is, is one of the most important ones, it gets my creative juices flowing. Like I just, one, life feels more fulfilling being able to produce content that I actually care about. And two, the ideas just keep flowing and flow. Like one idea creates another idea and then another idea creates another idea. And it just is a much more fulfilling way to live life. Like honestly, honestly. On top of that, when I get into scenarios where it's something that like is easy, now easy for me to shoot because I've, challenge myself in such a way, light work, light work, an easy check is great. What am I thinking about now when I'm doing that easy like shoot? I'm like, okay, how can we take this to the next level? It's actually fun for me to figure out how we can challenge ourselves on this shoot and take this to the next level. And then in turn, the client is happy. I've had these experiences which have been great, which lead to more work for me. So that was my first challenge for myself. Once again, if you are not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because, and if you're not subscribed to my, my newsletter, subscribe to that as well because for both platforms, I always share when my new video has um, premiered here on YouTube. In addition to that, I share so many life hacks on those different platforms. So definitely make sure you're following me and go ahead and click to the next video. It's right here. You always learn something from me. So you know there's a life hack in here.